2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round and I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media it'll be even more spicy out here. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to following along with these two. This is a rivalry that could be one for the ages. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement they generate. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That's a good looking shot there from about 100 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. He's currently tied for seventh. The second, a short par four, one that the players like to take on these days, Rich. A good birdie look here. They do. It used to be where you laid back on top of the hill and took a wedge, nine iron sometimes for your second shot. But a lot of players now are challenging that bunker down the right hand side, getting as far down there as possible and just having a flick with a sand wedge in for their seconds. And now to Bubba Watson. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. Well played, mate. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Ah, yes. Nice. This putt coming up is for birdie. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. There are so many stunning holes on this entire property, but there's few more picturesque than this downhill par three third. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful, can be extremely painful to play. Downhill all the way, when they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it, never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center the green all day long. What's in front of them, Henny? It's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. It was on a good line. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Currently a couple under for the round. One of the hardest holes on the entire property is the par four fourth ridge. It is a strong demanding hole right from tee to green. Nice tee shot here. A little bit more room to the right than the players really feel like there is. 
However, that also brings a rough on the right-hand side of the play, and you don't want to be there, especially with this green that's set right back against the canyon. It's a difficult second shot, almost an infinite edge pool look, if you will. You really have to bear down and make sure you have a good idea of your distance control on your second shot. Lining up from around 160 yards, just three strokes back. Choosing the nine iron here. Woo, back there, horsey. Oh my. Well, if it's any consolation, you'll get some high style points for that one. Didn't that look good for a long time? Well, that's an impressive little chip. Such soft hands. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. There's a real premium on your tee shots here at Torrey Pine South Course. Keeping ball in fairways critical, and that is illustrated also by the par 4 fifth. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. A couple under at this stage, tied for sixth position. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Oh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yeah, they were looking at an up and down, but just down. Just one off the lead after that hole. Rich, there are a number of strong holes on this outward half, but the par five sixth, the players are definitely thinking birdie here, but it's all set up by the tee shot. It's a nice reprieve, this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side, and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich, going forward in two. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Just didn't drop. That's disappointing. And this part to move into a share of first place. Well played. And that will take him to five under. And that makes him tied for first.
The par four seventh, a little dog leg left to right. Again, positioning of the tee is key. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. And he's down there. Yeah, he's eyeing up around 160 here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. And Bubba's got nothing but respect for an approach shot like that. He really flushed that one. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to six under. But Bubba Watson. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. And this is an extremely long putt. He might even have to hinge on this one. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We head up the hill away from the ocean here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenge is in the green. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire way. Difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on top. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. This part is about 16 feet. That line was looking good, wasn't it? And that should secure the par on this one. Leading by a shot after that hole. The par 5 ninth is a monster over 600 yards, Rich. Challenging, to say the least. I think the challenging part about it, Lucas, is just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really is just that simple and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it, but for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. Well, well played. This one's headed towards the rough. Getting ready to play their third. He leads the field by a stroke. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Steady now. Big putt for par coming up. And that putt will drop. Well done. And now to Bubba Watson. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Wow, what a save. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Rich, how are we looking after nine? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. As we head to the back nine here at Torrey Pines South, Rich, the 10th isn't a long hole, but the slope off the tee makes it a, a difficult one. 
It is. It cambers pretty good from left to right. So most players are going to take something less than driver, probably a three wood or a five wood, and try and hit a draw into that bank to slow the golf ball down. You find the fairway. The green sits slightly above you, but the difficult part about it is it's got three different sections, a front, a back left, and a back right. you got to get your second shot spot on to have the best opportunity for birdie. Uh, that was a little loose. Don't expect a good lie here. Fairways and greens, easy game, isn't it? It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. What a shot, almost went in the bucket. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Putt is underway. That will drop and he will extend the lead. And that will take him to seven under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. There aren't too many easy holes here at Torrey Pines South, but the course certainly gets tougher as we head to the par 3 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room. Let's get a little bit wider. It still is very small. A massive shelf top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? For this one will run uphill. Get excited. This could go in. And that will drop in for birdie. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Currently in first position. We head to the 12th hole. This par four is as big and as strong and as tough as you find anywhere on the PGA Tour. This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there. You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. Oh, absolutely flushed. Trying to get to nine under for the event with this opportunity. Oh, just missed. Putting for par. The putt drops, and we're moving on. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by three shots. All right, Rich, the par 5 13th, so much has been said about it. I'm interested. Most interesting par 5s you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none.
Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Now, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Fantastic play so far, setting this up for the eagle. Ooh. Oh, how good was that? Almost an eagle. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Aisle one, sunscreen. That's exactly what they're going to need. Headed to the sand. Wow. Had a good lie in the bunker, but still, that was some kind of talent. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Well, he's got a real outside chance here, 29 feet. That'll sting a bit. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is up by four shots now. We stride across the 15th, Rich, and we talk about strong power fours. This is another one. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. From around 180 yards out. Going with the seven. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Oh, Rich, that's the special stuff. Fantastic touch. What a play indeed. This putt about 11 feet in distance. It's up, it could be in. And that's eight birdies today. Currently at 10 under par overall. Sixteenth, the last of the par threes on this golf course, but it's not an easy one. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt, to say the least. A nine-foot chance here. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Looking good so far. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And now to Bubba Watson. He's feeling good. Just birdied the last hole. Oh, wow, Rich. How good was that? And a chip in, Luke. Just what the doctor ordered. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. The 
penultimate hole at Torrey Pines South is not a long par four, but the danger lurks everywhere. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. This one might need to sit. Nicely done. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, so close. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Well, the finishing hole here at Torrey Pines South, one of the more famous on the PGA Tour, site of so many of Tiger's wonderful victories. Par five, you can get there in two. You can, but you have to thread your drive in between those four fairway bunkers that line the fairway. From there, now you have to think, do I want to take on this flag with the bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front. It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it on, then you could reap massive rewards. Opting for the five wood. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Okay, that'll work. And the birdie with big wings on the table here if they can make this one. What a putt. Started this perfectly. Gets that one to go down and that'll